Hey there, welcome back to Reddit XO, the best channel for Reddit cheating stories. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification for more stories like these. 31 male, I caught my 28 female fiance having relations in our home with a married 36 male doctor from the hospital where I work, and I immediately called the authorities. They aren't aware of it, and I'm at a loss for what to do about it right now. I feel like a ticking time bomb that is about to detonate and murder two people at the same time at this moment. I'm completely at a loss on what to do. I'm utterly baffled by this. I'm really baffled as to how any of this happened. They haven't figured it out yet, and I'm not sure what to do next. We're both quite nice and affectionate, and the is almost always amazing between the two of us. We both have successful careers, so money is not an issue for us. We spend a lot of time together, and there haven't been any serious disagreements in a long, long time between us. I was under the impression that any serious difficulties we were dealing with had been settled a long time ago. No issues had arisen prior to the present time. Today's activities got off to a flying start. We kissed each other goodbye before getting out of bed, and I made us breakfast before starting my regular 12 hour shift. I work as a nurse at 7 a.m. Today, some of the activities of our wild families were made fun of, and we laughed about them. Everything appeared to be in order. The experience was so positive that I had one of those days where I was going mad just thinking about her and how much I wished I could be with her again. That my supervisor allowed me to go early was a sign of how hard I'd been working lately, 60 plus hour weeks for the past three weeks, plus school, and it was a good omen. I was pleased to see her while I was driving back to my house today, she had the day off. Up until the point where I arrived at the residence. His automobile was quickly recognized by me because I am friends with one of the doctors at the hospital in question. I'd never contemplated the possibility of her having an affair with someone else. In my entire life, I had never imagined the possibility of such a thing. We were too near to one another and everything seemed too ideal. For the first time in our relationship, I was wary of what was going on. I assumed she only knew him since he came to see me at work during a break, which led me to believe otherwise. While we were out at the pub one night, it's possible that she ran into him twice. Already on the fence, I pulled into a parking spot down the block, entered lightly in the front door, and went upstairs. It was quiet, which helped me relax, because she is usually rather raucous in bed, which was a welcome relief. When I glanced through the bedroom door, which was only half open, and saw them doing it with their backs to me, I lost any sense of tranquility I had previously experienced. I finally heard his grunts and her weak moans, and it felt like I had been immobilized for an eternity. As soon as I regained consciousness, I bolted from the room, attempting to avoid making any noise. As soon as I got home, I called one of my co-workers and went to her place, where I'm currently writing this. He doesn't use Reddit, and neither does her, so this isn't a coincidental occurrence. All of this occurred approximately four hours ago. No texts or phone calls have arrived, so I don't believe they were aware of my departure from the building. It feels like I'm going to kill him and yell at her, throw her out of the house without a single possession, and leave her for death because she has family and friends on the other side of the country. Because the doctor is married, taking her home is out of the question, but I want to expose him and attempt to discredit him in any way I can. I believe I now loathe her for what she has done. That this is actually happening is beyond belief. Should I confront both of them about it and call a halt to the relationship? Or simply end the relationship without any contact? She will never be returned to me under any circumstances. Everything, including the house, is registered in my name. Please accept my apologies for the lengthy post. I'm not in the best of moods right now, so please bear with me as I ramble on. Update. Please accept my apologies for the length of this post in comparison to my last one. Providing an update has also been delayed little longer than I had intended. I'm not going to write on anything that was discussed in my previous post. It all comes down to the connection. I'll attempt to keep it as brief as possible by posting only pertinent information. Nobody wants to sit around and listen to a bunch of cretins blather. I'll be completely honest with you, I don't remember a single detail of what happened that day. At the very least, words. I can't recall the last time I did something, 
and I can't recollect the names of the people with whom I interacted at the time. And it gives me great relief that I don't. My life has been turned upside down by the most horrible day of my life. I'm merely here to express my dissatisfaction with everything. After I posted the initial blog entry, I went to the bank and took everything from our joint account, then had the account closed. Instead of using our existing national bank account, we opened a new one with a credit union. I'm going to contact with an attorney about this tomorrow. As soon as I finished this, I took a break to cry and hit the steering wheel and dash in frustration. It was a wonderful feeling. It was time for me to leave for work on my day off so that I could report my girlfriend's behavior to HR. I questioned as to whether he was present, and he was, so I chose to avoid him. I'll get back to him when I have more time. She'd reportedly come in the night before to check on me, distraught and wailing, convinced that I'd died or been taken away by some supernatural force. It took everything in me not to say anything about what had happened to anyone or anything else in the room. I wanted to put him on the spot. I have a sneaking suspicion that I should have. But I'm going to be the one to save him. Later on, I'll go get him for you. My employer, who had granted me an early release, was completely unaware of what was going on. If he did it, he wouldn't admit it. The fact that I tried to ask him a question without disclosing what had transpired suggests that either he is exceptionally good at playing the role of the clueless or that he believes I am an idiot at the moment. I left work early and went to the doctor's apartment to see him. I was under the impression that school had not yet ended. She was not at home at the time. After five minutes, I started to feel uneasy, beautiful neighborhood with neighbors who most likely talk a lot. I'm quite sure I'm already on someone's watch list. I turned and walked away. So I returned home after that. I still had a few hours till my fiancé returned home, so I decided to check my phone for any new notifications. Since previous night, she has sent over 50 text messages and missed 12 phone calls, according to her phone. To put it another way, she went nuts some time after I disappeared. In order to demonstrate my trust in her, I requested my friend whose apartment I slept at to act foolish if someone called her, and I believe I was correct. Every message, text, and word was read and listened to by me. I couldn't help but think to myself, you're lying, you don't care about me, shut up, as she continued to speak. It continued to repeat itself after each of her remarks and eventually stopped. At some point, I gave up and went upstairs to play StarCraft for a while. I had a few beers before that. Please accept my apologies for neglecting to update Reddit, it's been a long and exhausting day. As a result of my frustration or anger at losing, I had only played two games, I shut off the game. I didn't want to text anyone and say I was alright because I was afraid they would tell her I was fine. As a result, I simply. As soon as I entered into our AT&T account, I looked through her text and phone history. Wow. Wow. There were 6,000 SMS received this month. Six. I didn't even own 200 of them, let alone all of them. Calculate the number of people you'll need. There are approximately 4,000 people. I'm not sure how this is even possible in the first place. I'm not sure who the other two numbers are, but they have a 500 in them, and I don't recognize them. Certainly, I have limitless texting privileges, but what the hell is this? Phone calls were nothing unusual for her, and she didn't think much of them. I'm just on the enormous volume of words that has been generated. I'm not sure what you're referring about though. My ability to maintain self-control came to an end there. When I opened her email, I thought to myself, oh my god. Interesting emails were sent to US from doctor for the sake of simplicity, I'll simply forward these to everyone important in this situation. Yay. After throwing my phone towards the wall, which has now developed a significant dent, my phone's screen has been completely shattered and is no longer usable. That was the overall gist of things. I continued to consume alcohol. I couldn't help but be outraged. I continued to play StarCraft despite the fact that I was losing. She was nowhere to be seen around 4.30 p.m. 5 p.m. is out of the question. I had a brief period of unconsciousness following that. I hadn't gotten any sleep in over a week. 
I'm not sure how long it will take. So, I'd slept for approximately 1 million hours after waking up at 5 a.m. The day before. I awoke to see her seated at the foot of the bed, which was a pleasant surprise. Because I was still intoxicated, I couldn't tell you how long it had been. As I recall our chat, it went like this, as soon as she started speaking, I stopped allowing her to continue and simply shouted over her. I restrained her from saying anything. I confronted her, smacked her in the face, and accused her of absolutely everything she did. I could have punched her in the face if I wanted to, which I did not do. Despite the fact that I can't remember half of what I yelled, she eventually ran out the door crying, and I tossed one of our porch stones at her car as she drove away from the driveway. Since then, I have not received any further communication from her. This occurred approximately one hour ago. I'm not sure whether or not I'll provide an update on this. I'm feeling a lot better now that she's no longer here. I've been crying uncontrollably while I type this, pausing every now and then to catch my breath. Right now, I'm a complete wreck. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the rest of my life at this point. Her presence had squandered seven years of my life together. I could have spent that time with someone who was more appropriate for the situation. Time and effort were squandered. This was a huge waste of time. I've reached the end of my rope. I'm completely on board. We have decided to cancel our joint bank account. In retrospect, it appears that this was most likely against the law. Still don't give a damn I got in touch with human resources. Because the boss was completely unaware of it, or so he claims, it was a complete coincidence. I didn't tell the doctor's wife since I didn't want to upset her. I uncovered an extensive text history between my girlfriend and the cheating doctor, hacked into her email account, and emailed all correspondence between them to everyone in our circle of friends and acquaintances. While I was passing out, I awoke to find her sitting on the side of the bed and screamed at her before running out of the flat.